Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp Blind. Having finished the two campaigns, we've been going through the War Room. We just finished Emoji Island with Hachi and discovered that he's insanely overpowered. So now we're going on to Duo Falls, fighting against Max. Who should we use this time? I think maybe we should try another character we haven't used before. Stern, let's see what you got. I will conquer all. All right, so we have airports, but no seaports. Hey, we actually get the, the little alien dudes this time. And the uh, the general black hole aesthetic. That's fun. This definitely isn't the chill experience that using Hachi is with that raging music. <laughs> Maybe I should have built a, a transport chopper rather than an APC. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's try this again, this time a little more intelligently. There we go. Should I build yet another infantry? Why not? Looks like Max starts with more cities than me this time, so he gets an advantage in this scenario. All right, now. Are my passives the same? Yeah, they are. That's <laughs> a straight up overpowered. So it's definitely the case that I don't think the different COs were even intended to be balanced then. Doesn't seem like the, the devs were even trying to do that. Because Hachi was way OP, Sturm seems pretty dang OP. With that incredible passive ability. Let's see, what else should I build? Looks like Max did basically the same thing as me on turn one. Maybe I should save up for an anti-air and see if I can go start shooting up his guys while they're trying to capture. Of course my attack chopper can do the same thing. Ah, and he's building attack choppers too, is he? I'm not going to shy away from a fight. Let's go, Max. Bring it on. Uh -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what are you meowing about, Jolene? Calm down, girl. You've had breakfast. Ah, he built an anti-air of his own, and another chopper. Alright, well if he has an anti-air, I'm going to need a counter for that. Medium tank will be a pretty good counter. If I stay over the water, I can avoid getting shot down by his anti-air.
Hmm. Two choppers in an anti-air versus just two choppers. That's not a favorable fight. Still. Hmm. No, not favorable. Oh yeah, you can just run right across that. But I still wonder if I should put him on his back foot by launching a preemptive attack. But I would damage his copter and just straight up lose mine in return. That's not a great trade. Still, his chopper would be so damaged it would become fairly useless, so it's almost a one and to one trade, so let's do it. Alright, now that chopper's dead on its next turn. I'm not going to put the next one in range of any of his stuff. I could lure this chopper in for death by parking my transport chopper here and unloading my guy here to start capping this. That seems reasonable. Should I save up for another medium? Why not? Or two lights. Maybe the two lights is better so that I can start getting more units into the fray immediately. Or even a light and artillery. Yep. Fully expected. Mm hmm. All of that went exactly as predicted. Max is aggressive, isn't he? He's just going for it. So we gotta counter him hard, or he's just gonna capture and overrun everything. Can't let that happen. Another medium. We're gonna need to throw a lot of heavy firepower into this fight. Now thankfully my transport chopper survived, so I can use it to lure his chopper to attack it again. No. Capture, not attack. So at least by my own intuition. Wait should be the default instead of unload when you've got uh, troop transports and capture should be the default instead of attack when you've got an infantry on a city. I say that just because my brain always assumes that's the default and never stops assuming that no matter how many times it's shown otherwise. Fight's about to start in earnest, then. Alright, let the battle commence. Not gonna shy away from a fight, Max. I'll lose my chopper to that anti-air. Oh, come on. Can't believe you didn't get that kill. That's unbelievable. Well, actually, maybe his anti will go for this. Well, heck, if I have the money, I think just churning out continuous mediums is not a bad plan. Your 
Gonna get hurt. Well, this is unfortunate. Still, he doesn't have all that much in range of me. So there would could be much worse times for him to use this. <coughs> in fact, if the only thing he's going to use it on is my transport chopper, then that was actually basically the ideal time for me for him to use that power. Yeah, that was fantastic, actually. Okay, that's a lot of stuff I'm up against. Alright, that's basically out of the fight. Do I finish off the chopper? No, let's weaken up another tank. This is working out well for me. Max basically wasted his power. I'm now getting a good preemptive strike on his units. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, this is working out pretty well. Nice. Jeez, do I get yet another medium? Maybe I should vary it up a little bit. Guess say a rocket artillery. Save up for some bombers or something too. Yeah, it's great how it takes his units out of the fight just by mostly weakening them. Sure, they'll eventually repair and come back, but it just really gives me breathing room. Okay, he has a bomber. That's no bueno. I don't really have anything to deal with that. Alright, well if you want to park that in range of my artillery. Thanks for the free kill. This guy's in the way. That's pretty annoying. He's really blocking me. Oh, my chopper can finish off his chopper. Actually, hang on, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that that way. Hold up. I acted too quickly. I see a much better play. Namely, get inside his anti airs range and then shoot down that chopper. There we go. That'll do. Oh, that is annoying. Oh, I can just drive around him though. Maybe I should. Although that really just kind of puts me in range of a whole lot of death, so maybe not. Alright, fine. We'll just... Maybe just kill this guy. Hopefully this will be the first thing to come up and attack me. The bomber is definitely going to blow something up. Probably my medium tank. Though, maybe I can block for it at least partially with some duders. Reinforcements have arrived. Now I need something to deal with his bomber for sure. I can't afford a fighter yet. But I can afford anti-air missiles.
quite an intense battle we have going on here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Kill my infantry all day long, they're a thousand apiece, so I do not care. Okay, I prefer that to him killing my medium, to be honest. So that's, well, not fine, but not awful. Also, his bomber stopped in range of my anti-air missiles, which is fantastic. That's the first thing we're going to deal with. Nice, nice. Okay. Does he have any other air units? Okay, he's building battlecopters. I might want a fighter to deal with them. Because that would be the ideal way to do so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, let's do some uh, ground fighting first and see how that goes. I guess you will kill this. 102% damage is what I like to see. Gosh, Sturm is a powerhouse. Because let's not forget that Max is a monster in direct combat. And Sturm is fighting him toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's how good Sturm is. And Sturm's abilities just apply to everything. Plus 20 with all units. Sturm is just... Really strong. Straight up overpowered. Again, it's clear to me that the developers weren't even trying to make the COs balance. Some are just better than others. I almost kind of wish that they would have given the different COs, like, power ratings. You're just gonna block. For, like, multiplayer purposes. So you could see, oh, this CO's kind of weak. Like, if there's a much stronger player... He should probably take that CO so that <coughs> it gives the other players a fighting chance. Or, oh, this CO is really, really strong. If there's a weaker player playing, maybe they should take that CO kind of thing. Let's uh, wreck this. I don't think there's anything I can do to escape the anti -air. Well, there's one place. There. If he doesn't move the MLRS, if he just keeps it there for repair... His AA won't be able to get at my Battlecopter now. I guess you can retreat. What next? Maybe I do want that fighter. They're very single purpose, but they are fantastic at what they do. And then what? Maybe save up my money to build something at my forward operating base there. Alright, what now, Max? I've got you on your back foot. How are you going to counter me? As soon as he decides to use his power, he's going to have a good turn. Oh, I missed that. Oops. Which is silly, because it's sitting right there. But there's my blindness that just kicks in sometimes. Oh, sorry for the coughing. I don't know what's going on. My throat is scratchy. I think that I'm parched and I need more water. Pretty good turn for Max. Not an overwhelming counterattack, though. Now my tanks can get in. I really need to kill this. Because I don't want a shooting down my fighter. Yeah, the fact that Sturm can go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
with Max like this in direct combat shows just how overpowered he is because again, Sturm's bonuses apply to all his units, not just the direct combat ones. That's so crazy. Definitely a top tier CO, I think. And once I get my Meteor Strike, oh my gosh, forget about it. This is also going to help with all his battle choppers, of course. Okay, what should I build next? What do I need? Hmm. I've got sufficient counters for his choppers, I think. Maybe what I really need is just more tanks. Ooh, a Neo tank. That sounds great. Okay, this is going to be a bad turn for us then. Yep. That's right, we're going to be able to counter with our Meteor next turn. That actually sounds a little weaker than when he goes Max Force. Instead of that... He just kind of had a whimpering little... Come on, Max, I was expecting a really manly roar for this one. But it doesn't boost his uh, artillery, so... Oh, no, he's going to stop my capture. Ah. Oh, man. Well, goodbye to that. Oh, I survived. That's a shocker. I need more infantry. <laughs> That's how strong Sturm is, that his units aren't getting one-shotted by Max with his superpower on. And now to hit back. I assume I target it. No, it auto-targets. It auto-targets. Interesting. That's what I was going to target anyway. Kind of showing that my intuition really lines up with how the internal calculation works. But that's interesting. So that means a skillful player can try to manipulate it. Though the way you manipulate it is by making a concentration of really expensive units. So <laughs> no matter what, it, it's not great when he, uh, if you're fighting against Sturm when he uses that. Good. This won't do much, but... Hmm, <coughs> what next? What next? How much damage would my Neo Tank do? Only 27%? That's not a lot. Alright, we've made an opening. We should probably pour through. Exploit the opening. Man, that meteor strike was clutch. Because it rendered this group of units just useless. They're not going to be able to do anything. Well, the Neo Tank doesn't have anything better to do, so, wimp so wimpy damage or not, let's weaken this chopper a bit.
do it.
tanks roll. Well, so uh, I I had myself muted for the first uh, for the last thirteen minutes. I forgot that I muted myself to go uh, to go stand up and um, do some laundry stuff, and then I decided to just cut the video because it took too long, and uh, I forgot that I had been muted. So, well done to me. Uh, enjoy the uncommentated previous 10 minutes of video. <laughs> I've basically just been uh, talking about my cat, who is completely out of control right now. Doing things like pawing at my screen because she thinks the, <laughs> the units on screen are real. Um... And also talking about how ridiculously, insanely overpowered Sturm is because he's eating Max for breakfast even in direct combat. And that is crazy. But yeah, I need to keep on capturing stuff so that Max... No, capture should be the default. My, I'm just never going to internalize the capture is not the default when there's somebody next to a city. I don't think my mic is picking up all my cats meowing, but she is meowing like crazy. I don't know what her problem is. What are you getting into now? Is he also out of fuel? 
he's out of ammo and fuel and that and blocking the bridge because I can't go destroy this. That's really annoying. Can you destroy this? No. Can you destroy this? Yes. I need to cross the bridge, if you please. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, uh... Sturm is clearly overpowered as all hell, just like Hachi. Although, if anything, Sturm... Well, I don't know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, is Sturm or Hachi stronger? I'd have to have them fight each other in a head-to-head -to, -head to make a determination. They're clearly both really, really powerful. This is easy mode, pretty much. I'll get me another one of these. Yes, please destroy that. It can't even move. Or shoot. Yes. Thank you. You did me a favor. This shouldn't accomplish much. No, it didn't. I really need him to stop producing stuff at that factory. It just it gets in the way, it slows me down. Get out of here. I'll take that, please. Thank you. Oh, also, did I just charge my power? I sure did. Prepare to embrace darkness. Meteor strike. Uh, it is no wonder I struggled against this guy so much when I had to fight him in campaign missions. Because this is nuts. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't think my mic's picking it up, but boy is Jolie meowing a lot. What is it, girl? Good grief, calm down. My tanks have just been blowing up so much stuff, they're running out of ammo. Looks like I'm probably going to get a route win rather than a capture HQ win. I should park my fighter on one of these factories so he can't build. Thank you. My fighter knows what to do with that attack chopper.
get another one. Fighter, that is. Boy, I just feel like I'm bullying now. I'm just a big bully. Poor Max. Just getting pushed around like a little kid. That's not something that happens to him very often, I don't think. Sure, free shots. Actually, yeah, I think I'd actually rather have this just continue sitting here to prevent production on that factory. You, no, no offense, Max, but uh, you're really going to lose. <laughs> I mean, you can and will delay the inevitable, but you're definitely going to lose. Who do you think you're kidding? Okay, that was a jerk move by my cat. Get out of here. I have to throw her out of my office. Don't know what her problem is. She's being much more ill behaved than normal. Alright, well, anyway, I threw her out, so let's finish this without any more feline issues to deal with. Can we finish it this turn? Oh, right, they're out of ammo. Oh, come on, finish it this round. And it's over? It's over. What a face roll. This world is mine. Max started with an advantage. And it was Max, who is, like, the direct combat master, and we just, we threw him around like a rag doll. We, we just beat the snot out of him, like we were bullying him. That's not really credit to me and brilliant strategy or anything like that. That just shows how overpowered Sturm is. Wow, that was insane. Well, so now I have another character where if I have another, uh... Another war room map that just seems insurmountable. I'll just use Sturm, and <laughs> it'll be mission accomplished, I think.
That was pretty nuts. That's Dual Falls complete. Poor Max. What a face roll. Well, next up is going to be Soul Harbor versus Drake. I don't think I'm going to use Hachi or Sturm on this map, so presumably it's not going to be quite such a massacre. We will see. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.